Hi and welcome to TDX 2020. My name is Jamil Patel and I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager with MuleSoft. Today, we'll be talking about MuleSoft and Salesforce better together. Learning to build Salesforce integrations quickly using MuleSoft. Before we move on, for people who are new to MuleSoft, let me explain what MuleSoft is. Let's say you wanted to integrate two systems, syncing information from Salesforce to a database for instance. To do this, you need a set of tools to be able to integrate with Salesforce via its APIs, transform the data that you desire in the desired format, and finally load it into a database using tools like SQL. While you can write custom code for this use case, like a Python script, it is difficult to manage and operate over scale. A better approach is to use an integration platform. Many people refer to this as middleware or the software glue. MuleSoft's AnyPoint platform is the world's leading API and integration platform. It provides you the set of tools and capabilities that let you connect different systems across your company and form an application network. You can use it to implement different integration patterns with Salesforce. Let's see how. This is the AnyPoint platform homepage. Here, you can see the design center for the design tooling, management center for managing deployed applications, and AnyPoint Exchange to drive reuse. Let's open up AnyPoint Exchange. AnyPoint Exchange is your company's marketplace to share assets both internally and externally. It contains assets like integration templates, API specifications, and connectors. They can be internal assets published by your IT team or out-of-the-box public assets that MuleSoft provides. If you search for Salesforce here, we can see that there are hundreds of assets that help you jumpstart your Salesforce integration project. Let's look at the Salesforce connector first. The Salesforce connector provides a fast and easy way for developers to interact with the Salesforce APIs without having to write any code. To use this connector, let's create a Salesforce to Slack integration using our web-based IDE within Design Center. We are going to use change data capture to trigger a Slack notification whenever an account is updated. While our project loads, let's look at the Salesforce setup. Within the change data capture settings, we have enabled CDC for the account object. Now, if we go back to Design Center, we are asked for our trigger. This could be any system or event. We will choose the Salesforce connector for this. The connector lets you choose from several triggers. It has polling triggers like on new object, and subscription triggers for platform events and change data capture. We will use the subscribe channel listener. Then it asks for a target system, which is Slack. And again, we can choose from different options that the Slack API provides. Chat, post message. This generates a scaffold for us, which gets the data as the event is triggered and transforms the data and sends it to Slack. Next, let's finish configuring the flow. First, we need to authenticate with Salesforce. I've already created a connection for the demo, but you can select different authentication modes that Salesforce provides like OAuth and Basic Auth. You can also verify your connection using the test button. Finally, let's add our streaming channel for the accounts object here. Next, we need to transform the data as Slack only allows text input for chat. The transform component automatically detects the data type coming from Salesforce and with a simple script, I can easily convert this into a TXT. You can also easily merge data from different systems here if you want. Finally, for the Slack connector, let's set up the connection first. Again, we are going to choose an existing one from before. And then we are going to select the channels from the channel dropdown. We have one for virtual TDX. And now since we have already transformed the payload into string, we can simply drag and drop that to the message. And that's it. Our integration is ready to be tested. Let's run the test and go to the Salesforce account tab. Here, let's update the name of one of the accounts from ABC partners to AB partner TDX. As we save the changes, you can see a Slack notification was triggered. If we look in the message, we can see the raw JSON with the updated name in the chat. If we switch back to Design Center, we can see the green boxes indicate our flow was triggered successfully. You can also look at the input data that comes in as input and what Slack returned as output. From here, 
you can continue building your integration and add more operations. The Salesforce connector combines operations from the REST API, SOAP API, Bulk API, and Metadata API into these easy to use operations so that you don't have to deal with the API specification. In the demo, we just built an integration from scratch using MuleSoft. But you don't always have to start from scratch. Exchange provides hundreds of templates for most common use cases that you can start using right away. MuleSoft also provides accelerators for integrating across Salesforce clouds. These contain end-to-end -end integration solutions for common use cases for Service Cloud and B2C Commerce Cloud. They come with architecture best practices, installation guides, Lightning Web components, and implementation templates, all bundled into a single solution. If you are evaluating MuleSoft, you can sign up for a 30-day trial and try these yourself. To get started, go to developer.mulesoft.com slash tutorials and get step-by-step -step guides for building integrations. Thank you for tuning in.